Junior, Junior, this your boy Spray Paint back at you another video, man. The other half of it's time for that Culture for the Street podcast. So y'all know what's been trending. I gotta say that hip hop is back. Hip hop has returned. I thought it was dead and over with. But this Kendrick and Drake thing going on is more interesting again. Now we got people like academics. He's speaking on Kendrick Lamar dropping another bombshell. Because, you know, the last diss record that he made, I'm going to keep it all the way a band with you. I didn't like it. It was it was, it was was boring. It, it didn't give me no rush. But this new diss track where he rapping on this these couple of piano keys, man, this nigga really, literally gave this man family a whole intervention. You feel me? From the son to the daughter to the mom. And the dad. Now, it's a lot of Drake fans. You know, they saying it was trash. And the only reason why they saying the trash, y'all. Y'all know why. It's because you can't twerk to it. But hip-hop is not all about dancing. It's not all about dancing and pop-locking. We talking about metaphors, punchlines, syllables. Yeah, we going back to the basics. So, shout out to Kendrick for pulling that out of the crates. Because we ain't seen that in a minute. But anyway, Kendrick telling LeBron and Steph to keep their fans away, to keep their kids away from um, Drake, that's nasty work, bro. Because that boy literally said that Drake got sex offenders working for OVO and giving them monthly allowance. He did more than that, but I'm just saying, bro, the way he just smoked Drake, this one going in the books. This one going in the books with Ether, y'all. I don't think Dre going to be able to beat this one. But I need y'all to get down there in the comments and tell me who y'all think winning this battle out of Drake and Kendrick. Man, I'm gone.